Hey guys, welcome back to Bearded Edge Reviews. I'm Callum and I've got one amazing review for you guys today. Yep, that's it. I've got a hardware review. Oh hell yes. Looking at this, the new bare bones mech from Deathwish Mods. Hey, hence the car. That's right, we're looking at this guy. So without further ado, Let's get up close and personal this bad boy and see what it's all about. The Bare Bones, which actually comes in two boxes. So it comes as a kit. So you have the Unholy V2 RDA, as well as the Bare Bones tube. And in true Deathwish fashion, they're keeping on with the tombstone coffin style packaging that they always do. So, first things first, let's look at the bare bones. No, no. So, first off, we have the tube. And just look at that design on the front. That is just absolutely majestic. I absolutely love that. So it's hybrid, and then we've got the usual familiar button at the bottom with a serial number on and the DWM. So what else do we get in the box with it before we look at that in more detail? So in the box, we get the 18650 adapter for the firing pin, which I'll show you how to change shortly. And then you've got your nifty little death wish tool which is used to change the pin. Whether you're, so whether you're using 18650 or 2700, you'll need this little tool, which is quite handy. So back to the mod then. So like I said, this is in gun metal. It does come in copper, brass and stainless steel as well. So it's a hybrid mech. You can simply just twist the button out at the bottom. As you can see, it is stainless steel contacts, copper button with spring. Coming out of the box, you do get a spare spring as well. And a little tube. So this is for when you're using the 18650 to, to prevent any battery rattle in there. So if we're going to look, just for a quick second, at how you adapt this. So if you was using an 18650 battery, you would need to have that in the mod. And you would need to change this to the other adapter, which I showed you came in the box just a moment ago. When I can get that out of the box. There we go. So we simply need to take this out. And put that in. So this tool is designed to fit in them holes like such, and then you just screw it out. Na -na. And then to put the new one in, screw that on. So if you were to use that, with that inside the tube, that would now fit the 18650 perfectly. For me, I'm going to use a 2700. So I'll just quickly pop that out. I say it's so simple to do, dead easy. Takes nothing more than a couple of seconds to switch it out. Voila. So that's the tube. What's the unholy V2 looking like? So, in this box, you get your little bag of goodies, Allen key, grub screws, etc. And then, we have the RDA itself. Keeping with the engraving on the front, Two cross 
airflows which are adjustable and then the also familiar death wish and serial number so let's have a look at the deck let's screw this in here so I can get the top off Na -na. and that is the new posts so as you can see they've got ball bearings sat in the bottom with your grub screws that come down which is a little bit different but we've still got the death wish mods so i do have the v1 deck here so you can see they had the side clamps whereas now it's got these posts instead so a bit of a difference there so it's all insulated it has got a copper pin on this as well so so inside here there is another sleeve which is a bit dry so i'm struggling oh there we go so you can alter the airflow should you wish and that's both ways so when you edit it one way it's exactly the same on top you just need to twist this top cap Ultim drip tip it is an 810 size drip tip so you can fit other 810s in there if you wish So there we have it, the bare bones. I'm going to chuck a quick build in here and I'll see you back up top to see how this thing vapes. The bare bones. How does it vape? Let's find out. <laughs> Straight off the bat, the flavour is ridiculous on this unholy V2 deck. The airflow through them crosses is beautiful. It's such a clean and smooth vape, full of flavor, absolutely love it. The throw on the button is nice and smooth. There's no, it's not heavy, it's quite light and easy to push. Beautiful. This is an absolute amazing piece of kit in my eyes. Currently retailing for £155 over on Evolution Vaping. I'll put the link below. Or if you're living over the other side of the pond in Canada, the US, Carac Vape have these in stock for 250 Canadian dollars. That works out at £149. Also, you can use my personal discount code with Carac which is Bearded Edge 5, and you can get $5 knocked off that as well, which is an absolute steal. But I, there's nothing I don't like about, there's nothing I don't like about this mod. Um, <laughs> I really can't find. If I was to be really, really nitpicky, just because I like the matchy matcher, so as you can see, I've switched out the drip tip to a DPS Metalworks tip, also available at Carrack. It comes with an Ultim, just for me and my crazy OCD, I like everything to be matchy matchy. But hey ho, it's still a good drip tip. It's an 810, so you can easily find replacements like I've done here. Um, I love the fact it can be used with 18650 or 2700 batteries, and the little key that they provide makes it so quick and easy. In a matter of seconds, you can switch out from one battery size to another. No battery rattle because of the with a tube for the 18650 as well, which is great. Um, they fit together almost perfectly. You can hardly see the line where one finishes and the other starts. And But for me, this is one of the biggest, biggest improvements on this. For the Unholy V2, in the up close and personal, I did show you the new post with the ball bearings in. Now, I didn't cover it in detail then. I'm human. I make mistakes, okay? But I'm going to cover it now for you. That is going to be a builder's dream. The idea being the ball bearings are there to try and help improve the connection between the post and your coil wire. 
and you can use it in however you like. So you can use it either under sit the ball bearing underneath your coils if you want them to be sl sat slightly higher, or you can put it underneath if you want it lower. Or you can even split the two coils with the ball bearings. You can have one going above, one going down. And it just gives such an instant hit. The connection, that improvement on the connection, you can't actually tell. And it helps deliver a much more instant hit from the RDA. It's brilliant. It's almost instant ramp up. It's a brilliant, brilliant piece of bit of design there. I absolutely love it, really do. So for me, this gets a massive thumbs up. And for the price, for a fully authentic kit with RDA, you cannot go wrong. At 150 quid, give or take a few pounds depending on where, where you're based and where you're gonna be buying from, that is an absolute steal. You are not gonna get such a good piece of kit for me at that price range. Absolutely brilliant. So like I said, guys, I'll put the links to both Karak and Evolution below. Please go get it while you can. I know they are selling fast. There's only a limited bit run of these. I think for the gunmetal, there's only 375 being made. So you've got to get them while you can. I've already got 274 in my hand, so there's not going to be many left. Get them while you can. Um, as always though guys, if you enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up or feel free to drop me a comment below. I'll happily respond to any questions that you guys might have. Um, but other than that, that's it from me guys. So until next time, keep it cloudy.